Hey people, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Tolani and I'm a diary of a kitchen lover. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this very quick and easy Chinese chicken fried rice. I love Chinese meals so much. I'm sure a number of you might have noticed that. So if I'm not cooking Chinese meals, I'm visiting Chinese restaurants. That's how good their food is. And I also love the fact that the ingredients are very, very easy to locate. It will take you a little over five minutes for you to prepare this meal. So I want you guys to watch this video till the end. We're going to go straight into cooking heat up some oil first very little oil we're going to be scrambling some eggs if you check out chinese fried rice most of them always have eggs except you have like specifications for your meals so i'm going to be scrambling two eggs please make sure you break your eggs into a bowl don't be a hoodlum like me <laughs> because most times these eggs go bad and you don't want to start frying really bad eggs so i'm going to add some salt just for taste and i'll be using my whisk to scramble the egg so you can scramble it as much as you want so that you can get a very fine consistency just scramble it and set it aside Now we'll proceed to make the chicken. I'm going to be using boneless chicken. That's the chicken breast. You're just going to cut the chicken breast into small chunks, like what you're going to see on the screen. Heat up some oil first, saute some onions. I like to chop my onions like this because I'm not a big fan of really, really big onions. So this one just disappears in the meal and I prefer it. I love the taste of onions, but I love to, I hate to see the chunks in my food. So I've just added some garlic now. So this, what you have here is some oil, some onions, and some garlic paste so just saute these and add your chicken like I said you're going to cut your chicken into small chunks like this you can cut it into smaller chunks if you want it smaller but I love this one this one is perfect for me then you're going to season this with some soy sauce I'm going to show you what the soy sauce looks like even though I don't think this is the original product the original product is supposed to be amoy a m o y that's the one i know is correct but you know this supermarket is just selling any product <laughs> but god just keeps saving us from these things but it tastes exactly like the original amoy so i don't have a problem with it so you just season this a little bit and just keep stir frying on low heat it might seem as though my heat is high that's because um the fan was on the fan and the ac was on in the kitchen while i was cooking so it was just really blowing off the air so while this is cooking the chicken cooks really really fast while this is cooking just add a little oil to this and just um stir fry continue to stir fry you're going to cook the chicken until it releases this water and once the liquid dries up and starts to fry you know it's time for you to add your veggies so that's what's gonna happen right here for the veggies i'm gonna start with using carrots I don't like to use too many veggies for my Chinese fried rice. I don't know why. I'm going to add some spring onions, even though I have some leftover to add towards the end of the cooking because I still want it to be like a little bit crunchy while eating the food. So I'm going to add some red bell peppers just for color basically and stir fry. So at this point, I have increased the heat a little bit so that, you know, it's stir frying and I don't want, um, I don't want the veggies to get too soggy. So I'm going to add some cayenne pepper now. You can use some fresh pepper. Just chop some fresh pepper if you don't have cayenne pepper. Just chop any type of fresh pepper. So I'm adding my cooked rice now. So for Chinese meals, it's always advisable for you to cook your rice a day before and just refrigerate it. I like to keep mine into inside the freezer or the fridge. So I've just seasoned this with some soy sauce now. Some people might ask, um, in quotes, no maggi on salt or salt. <laughs> the reason why I'm not adding that is because the soy sauce already covers for it. The soy sauce is enough seasoning for your Chinese um, fried rice. And your Chinese fried rice do not need any of that. We've used salt to make um, the eggs. We've already used salt to make eggs. So you don't need salt again, especially when you're using soy sauce or oyster sauce or any of those Asian sauces sauces you don't need um seasoning extra seasoning or salt so um, i also added some sesame oil sesame oil makes the difference in the taste of your food so i'm just adding the scrambled eggs now and that's all you need to make your chinese fried rice um some 
spring onions for garnish like i said earlier i just want it to taste really crunchy and just keep stir frying i love my chinese fried rice when it is totally dry so i'll just keep stir frying until all the grains of the rice are totally dry that's when i get to enjoy my chinese fried rice you will totally love this um once you have added the rice and the egg and every other condiment just reduce the heat and just keep stir frying until the rice turns dry i want you to try this method and you will definitely love it like drying your rice while stir frying you will totally love it especially if you are using basmati rice and it's always advisable to use um um asian things right themed rice for your um meals if you are not using that there, there are different types of basmati rice so if you go to the market and you want to buy just make sure you buy the one that um the chinese people use or you can just buy the normal golden seller one for this recipe i use my golden seller because it was just a demonstration but if i want to cook for like my people and all that i use different type of rice that's the one that the asian people use i'll try to put the name in the caption so that you guys can go get yours also and there you have it guys your chinese fried rice is very 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 yummy ready to be served alone or you can have it with any sauce of your choice i'm going to put a link to a uh, chinese sauce in this um on the screen so you guys can click and you can have it with this rice or you can also decide to have it alone just like this it is very nice very yummy and you know it takes you to china <laughs> oh my god that was not funny <laughs> I hope you guys are going to try this. If you like this recipe, please let me know in the comment section. It is very quick and easy and I know you will totally love it. And it's something you can easily whip out in less than 5 minutes or even a little over 5 minutes. Your family, your friends, your loved ones will totally love it. Uh, thank you for watching. If you haven't already subscribed yet, please, I want you to hit the subscribe button, share and, you know, like this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.